Hi folks and welcome to another batch of your replays and we have got two really really nice replays for you today. They are very very similar games in very very different tanks. Basically where uh, the players take their tanks down one flank, decimate everything that's in front of them and just keep on rolling till they get to the enemy cap. Uh, we are kicking off with a KV2 game from Alhosa123. I'm just going to call you Alhosa and I hope Alhosa is the correct way to pronounce your name. If it's not, apologies. But he is on Severgorsk and it is a 43 percenter so he's got his work cut out for him. But he's in a KV2 and he has the final gun. As you can see, He's got the 152mm and he's using an all HE ammo loadout. So let's just get going. So we're going to speed it up because the KV-2 is not exactly a fast tank and Al Jose does spend some time sitting AFK in spawn before entering the game. So he's finally on the move and he's got a nice team split. As you can see, uh, quite a lot of his tanks have gone down the 8-9 lines, there are a bunch of TDs heading up to the 1-2 lines, and there are some tanks covering the middle. So, uh, nice team split on Severgorsk, you don't often see that. But it is a 43 percenter, and the KV-2 is not the fastest tank, so uh, really Alhosa needs to get into position as quickly as possible. Uh, KV-1S on his team is already declaring it a lost game. But it's not lost as long as you've got a KV-2 still in action. So once again we'll speed it up. So there are quite a few tanks being spotted, enemy tanks being spotted on the three line. And Alhosa is just advancing. He's got his HE shell loaded and there are a lot of potential one hit kills on the enemy team down here. Hellcat is a one-hit kill. VK is not a one-hit kill. Unless you get extremely lucky. <laughs> 710 damage, one-hit kill on the VK. The shot penetrated the VK's pe uh, turret ring. It must have rolled. The penetration must have rolled high. Because usually a VK is not a one-hit kill from the front. But uh, really nice start to the game. One kill, 710 damage done. And this Hellcat is moving forward. And yeah, Alhosa takes him out for kill number two, another one hit kill. Unfortunately the, for, unfortunately, the Hellcat was not on full health, someone else put a shot into him. But uh, nice start to the game. Now, Alhosa's reload is at 23 seconds, so I'm not sure if he's using a gun rammer or has brothers in arms, but SU-100 is a one hit kill, but that was not a very well aimed shot. Alhosa was aiming at the gun mantlet, unfortunately. Needed to aim slightly to the right, and it would have been a one hit kill. But uh, still can't complain. It only, only did 328 damage, even though he hit the uh, gun mantlet. So he's got a hint of a shot. Not much to aim at here. Hint of a shot between the wrecks. Decides to go for it, and the shot goes really, really high. So he's just taken his first damage, eight, 181 damage done by the SU-100. But uh, my KV-2 has a reload of about 21 seconds and I don't have brothers in arms yet so it's something I'm really really looking forward to getting on the tank. But KV-2 is just a fun tank, you can, it can be really really frustrating but it's also a very fun tank you, to play. So Jackson aiming for the cupola loops a shot into the top of his tank and another one hit kill Alhosa is up to three kills 1963 damage and does all 590 damage to that Jackson SU-100 gets another shot in at SU-100 is being rather rather cheeky but he is on low health and if Alhosa can simply just hit him anywhere the splash damage should be enough to take him out but he pokes, he's looking at this Cromwell, Cromwell's not focused on him, takes him out, 261 damage, kill number 4. So with 2.2k damage, this is a good game so far. Even if the game were to end right now, it's a fairly good KB2 game. 
But Alhosa is looking for this SU-100, he's reloaded, he pops the corner, SU-100 bounces, hits the tracks on the SU-100, but still has enough splash damage to kill him. So five kills, 2,476 damage. So he's typing in chat, maybe he was maybe a little bit greedy, he was looking for the kill on the Jagdpanzer IV and is unhappy that the SU-100 on his team took out the Jagdpanzer IV, but he was still on a reload, so I really, really don't blame the uh, SU-100. But it shows that a Top Gun is on his mind, he's looking for kill number six, so he's advancing and look at all of these wrecks, all of these wrecks that he was primarily responsible for. So for a 43%er, it is still quite close. The score's 11-10. So he's going to drive around the corner, spots the VK-3002M. Poor gun depression on the KB-2 decides he doesn't want to deal with the VK. Now the VK, like I was saying earlier, is not usually a one-hit kill from the front. Alhosa was quite lucky to get a kill on the VK-3001P. Hit him in the turret ring and the penetration on his HE ammo did roll high. But uh, this is a slightly tougher target. This is a VK3002M. So again, penetrating it from the front is not going to work. You will do damage, but you're not going to get full damage. So Alhosa decides to move forward, even though the VK may get side shots. But he needs to hit the VK in the sides or rear to get a penetrating shot. VK seems to be focused on the SU-100. That means that Alhosa is able to move around, changing the angle of engagement, and the VK is giving his side 840 damage, <laughs> 6 kills, and top gun. You can see why I love the KV-2. Oh, Artie's just put a big hit in, 424 damage, and Alhosa is down to 72 health. Two enemy tanks left, and it's turned into quite a comfortable game now. They could still lose it, but uh, for a 43%er, it has turned into a very, very comfortable end. SU-100's moving up on the right, he flushes out the Hummel. Alhosa is reloaded. Goes for a shot before being fully aimed and takes out the Hummel for 300 damage. Kill number 7. Now the AT-8 just took out the SU-100. AT-8 was last spotted around uh, G-6, G-7. And there are shots coming in. Now the KV-2 does have a couple of weaknesses. Not only is it the most... It's not the most mobile tank, it's not very maneuverable and it is quite slow, but it's also as blind as a bat. It's got very, very poor view range. So this AT-8 is a very, very dangerous opponent. I probably wouldn't be moving around. And there we go. So the AT-8 is able to kill Alhosa from stealth and shooting still doesn't reveal his position. Very, very stealthy kill. Unfortunately, Alhosa was on low health, but his team are able to move in and finish off the AT-2 to secure the victory. But uh, still a really, really good game from Alhosa. So that was an ace tanker. He picked up high caliber and top gun for that game. Really, really big game in a KV-2. He finished top on XP with 1,570 base XP, 3,616 damage and 7 kills. I do like the KV-2 and I rarely get a result as good as that. He fired 9, hit 8 and penned 8, but one of those shots did hit the gun mantlet on an SU-100 and didn't do full damage. But you can't complain when you get a damage output that big. He spotted 2, a damage 7 destroyed 7 and earned 27,000 credits on a standard account. Uh, there was no special or bonus going in, it was not his first game of the day, so he finished up with 1570 XP base. Uh, but still a really, really good game, and thank you very much for sending it in to me. I really do love KV2 derpage action.
But you don't need a 152mm to roll down one flank and be completely dominant. As XXX Khalid, XXX, I'm just going to call you Khalid if you don't mind. Uh, Khalid is going to show us that he can do exactly the same thing in AT29 here on Arctic. Once again, it's another 43 percenter and we are just going to go. Now, Khalid does have the final gun on the T-29. It's a very, very nice 105mm with 198mm of penetration, 320 alpha damage. And if you're thinking about going up the American lines, I can pretty much recommend them. The T-29 is a very, very strong Tier 7. In fact, I would probably say it's one of the strongest Tier 7 tanks in the game. And I... it's a keeper. I mean, I enjoyed playing the T-29 so much, it's got a permanent place in my garage. It is a wonderful, wonderful training tank if you want to experience how to play American heavies well and if you can master the T29 and play the T29 well you'll do well in all the later tier American heavies. They are all about going hull down and using their uh, really, really good turret armor. And Khalid is just going to be rolling down one flank and taking on everything that happens to appear in front of him. So his first victims have appeared. Not giving him much to shoot at. Ooh, a little bit of lag there on the first shot, but Khalid hits the KV-1S and starts off his damage with 355. Gets a beautiful shot into the weak spot on an AT-7. 310 damage. You can see that this gun is very, very punchy. And the curse of British TDs showing that weak spot. And gets another shot in. Rolls low for 283. More tanks appearing. Goes for a shot on the cupola on an IS, but pens him on the side of the turret, turret cheek. And he's continuing to work here. You can see that Khalid understands what weak spots are. Unfortunately, that shot goes high. But he's still aiming for weak spots. And gets another beautiful shot into that AT-7. He is up to 1600 damage so far. Gets another beautiful shot into the AT-7, finishing him off for kill number one, taking him up to almost 2k damage. Goes for the IS, aiming for the cupola, and again the shot goes a little bit high. Oh, T1 Heavy appears out of the fog of war, and there is kill number two. And the enemy team are shooting at his turret, can't pen him. And Khalid waits for the VK to advance, takes him out for kill number three. RT has now taken an interest in Khalid. It is a nasty little RT, so Khalid can't really sit around and wait for that RT to hit him. So he's pushing, he's pushing his friendly VK out of the way. He's moving in on this IS, rushes a shot before being fully aimed onto the side of the turret of the IS and misses. But again, he can't really hang around, not while Artie is focused on him. Continues to push. And Artie seems to be focused on the VK now. Gets a beautiful shot in. That time he does pen the IS. And again, continues to advance down this flank. Gets the rear of a T-29 in the distance and unfortunately that shot hits the ground. Looked to be a good shot to me. IS takes that opportunity to poke but he's still focused on this T-29. Gets a beautiful shot into the side of his turret. Not enough to kill him but it takes him up to 3k damage. Advances around the corner, bounces the IS, finishes the IS for kill number four. And this nasty little VK, or FV, where did you come from? Yeah, you're not going to be doing any more sneaking up. So, kill number five. 
really, really <laughs> cheeky play by the enemy FV. This was a 43 percenter and Khalid is on 5 kills, 3.3k damage and his team are dominating. So he's looking for kill number 6, looking for his top gun, rushes a shot before being fully aimed on the SU-152. Hits and kills, so there's his top gun, 3.4k damage. Just one enemy tank left. And Khalid has completely dominated on this flank. He did have a little bit of help from a VK. But uh, he has done really, really good work down this flank. And you can see just how powerful the T-29 is. M12 takes a hit. Khalid rushes a shot. Goes in for kill number 7. And a very, very comfortable victory in the end for a 43 percenter. So that was an ace tanker for Khalid, and he also picked up high caliber and top gun, just like Al Hosa in the first game. Very, very similar performance, and almost a very, very similar XP as well. He finished top on XP with 1469, 3565 damage and 7 kills. Really, really nice T29 game, Khalid. Well done. He fired 18, hit 14, and pen 14. Unfortunately, the gun on the T29 is not the most accurate, uh, but he was going for some precision shots on uh, enemy cupolas, and unfortunately, the gun did misbehave for a few of those shots. But he uh, took 8 hits and blocked 1100 damage with his armor. He uh, damaged 9, destroyed 7, did 270 assistance damage and earned 36,000 credits for that game. 2,203 XP with a premium account, no bonuses thrown in, but uh, really, really nice game. And two very, very similar games and two very, very similar tanks. Advancing down one flank and basically just decimating all the enemy tanks in front of them. Continuing to roll forward until they reach the enemy cap. But uh, I would like to thank Alhosa123 and Khalid for sending those games in. Really, really enjoyed them. Two really, really nice replays. And I hope you folks enjoyed watching them too. So I'd like to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.